hey there everyone, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we're going to be doing the full field test and review on the Emerson Kershaw Collaboration uh, CQC-6K, model number 6034. That's what I got here in my hand. This is a new to the market 2014. Emerson, as I'm sure most of you know, make good, high-quality kind of uh, tactical blades is what they're known for, folding tactical knives. And uh, they partnered with Kershaw, which we know does fantastic with budget blades. We've got to love some budget Kershaws. They make a you know, at a good price point, make good quality stuff. So Kershaw and Emerson got together and basically gave us a budget version of the Emerson models. They've got a lot of the same features. Obviously, you got that classic wave feature we're going to check out. You got that disc thumb plate there to uh, deploy the blade. You got that really cool Emerson um, just logo as well as on the pocket clip. You got the 410 stainless steel lockers, G10 handle scales, a lot of options, but at a budget price of right around $30, $35. I'll have a link below at the end of the video of uh, some recommended places to purchase uh, this guy, this Emerson CQC-6K. Uh, so um, overall, let's go ahead, get out there and begin to use and abuse this blade and see if what Kershaw and Emerson have come together and produce is gonna be worth you purchasing. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at this blade. What we have is a 3.25 inch blade from the handle scale to the tip. So that's awesome. You know, that's great for not only EDC use, but also tactical or wilderness uses. Uh, so, you know, you're definitely getting some good reach there on the Kershaw Emerson. What you have is HCR 13 MOV steel. You know, it's definitely a budget steel, but Kershaw does some good stuff with that steel. It's going to be, you know, similar to like an Ontario or uh, an SE OS 8, uh, you know, the, like the Zancudo or the Rat Model 1, something like that. It's definitely going to hold an edge about that, same, you know, high quality i don't i think uh you know os 8 from say sog and cold steel will hold a better edge than the steel that you see in front of you but it is a good budget steel and remember you're paying right around the 30 dollars mark or just a little bit over that for this knife with all the features that it has then the other cool thing that it has is two separate types of finishes up here near the logo and you got the little uh, emerson skull logo emerson designed by kershaw so lots of little cool features there you have a satin finish up here, and then down here you have a stonewash finish on the hollow grind. The grind itself has a stonewash finish. And then overall, I just love the overall just shape and design of this blade. This blade has got good belly for slicing and a good uh, unsharpened swedge for stabbing as well with that kind of clip point design almost. So very, very nice on the blade and razor sharp out of the box. Razor sharp and HCR 13 MOV is going to be very easy for you to get an edge back on it when it does dull on you. Not too thick, not too thin. Good tip there that's reinforced so it's going to be able to be delicate enough to do EDC tasks but strong enough to do some stabbing and piercing if you needed to with your Kershaw Emerson. All right, nylon rope check that hollow grind gonna go right through that like butter here I'll do a double run boom very easy to go through rope and nylon materials with your Kershaw Emerson all right so busting through some cardboard here with the Kershaw you can see it's gonna do a great job going through that cardboard no complaints Again, going to hold a good edge. A lot of cardboard cutting throughout the day is going to probably start to dull the blade. In fact, not probably. It definitely will start to dull the blade. But this is definitely a good EDC knife if you're wanting to do lots of cardboard cutting and stuff. Because uh, when it does come, time to resharpen it. Very easy to do with that HCR 13 MOV steel. Good traction, good lockup. The blade's not too thick. And again, with that hollow grind, it's very easy to get cardboard slicing done with the CQC dash 6k okay let's go ahead and take a look here at the handle what you have is g10 on one side and then you have 410 stainless steel on the other which makes it weigh in at five ounces so it's definitely you know a beefy heavy knife same weight as uh you know a rat model one it's not quite as long a blade but uh you're getting a lot of stuff here and it's a very strong very capable uh, knife it has that frame lock tip up only with those pocket clips gotta love that Zytel this back spacer back here with a little bit of flow through. Good jimping. Deploy the blade. You can see there's super deep finger groove right there. And then that real nice set of jimping, not too aggressive, not too weak in the you know in the traction. 
And then what's awesome is that that wave feature acts as a really nice, comfortable uh, thumb ramp. I was a little concerned that it might be you know too aggressive and kind of start cramping my thumb, but I did a bunch of carving with this uh, over the course of you know several weeks of just carving, 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 uh, getting a couple fires in the backyard going, and it did not cramp my hand. And I wear large size gloves, and you can see that I got plenty of room to spare back here. So you're definitely going to be locked in, you know, for a stabbing move or reverse tactical move or just EDC cutting. It's definitely going to keep you really good with that G10 on one side and then the stainless steel. So it's not going to thrash your pockets. You write these out there. It won't thrash your pockets at all. That lockup is superb. Hits really well. You can see there and there's zero play left, right, up, down. Uh, very tight and it is dead center as well right there in the handle, which is awesome. Got another set of jimping down there too for when you are holding that reverse grip. You got jimping right there, lock you into place. Very nice and smooth. It has some form of either Teflon or I'm hearing that I guess Emerson uses some sort of like high high industrial Teflon. It's called something else. I'll probably connotate it in as I'm talking. Um, it's very, very smooth deployment as I'm playing with it here with the disc. That disc is really nice. Got that little screwdriver head right there, Phillips hit screwdriver, you can remove that disc if you needed to or tighten it up if it ever loosened on you. But uh, very smooth, it is not brass or bronze bushings though in there, it's some form of either Teflon. This is definitely, if it is Teflon, it's the best Teflon washers I've ever seen uh, in there to help, you know, with the deployment. Or uh, it's possibly, you know, that uh, upgraded, I guess, Teflon bushings or whatever they are that Emerson uses. You got that really nice stop pin back there as well to give you just really good strength, really good lockup. I mean, just overall, no, no complaints, regardless if it's with the ergonomics or the fantastic, very strong frame lock design on your Emerson Kershaw knife. You can see how well that tip is holding up. That frame lock is working really well. I got great traction with the G10, the jimping on both sides and the really deep finger guard right here, finger groove. I'm totally locked into place. And that uh, Kershaw Emerson CQC for close quarter combat blade can definitely do self-defense tasks if you need it to. Nice. Very comfy, good carving capability. Look at that. We'll get those shavings done real nice and easy with the Emerson Kershaw. Or Kershaw Emerson, however you want to say it. Yeah, oh yeah. Very comfortable, no hot spots, really locked into place. You could d definitely use this as a wilderness pocket knife if you want to. You can see there, give yourself some nice little shavings for your fire. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the deployment on the Emerson. Here's how it's riding in my pocket. You can see their cool skull logo on the pocket clip. Uh, it is that satin finish, so you're definitely going to be able to, people are going to tell that you are carrying a, a pocket knife. They're going to know. So that's just something to keep in consider. You know, a lot of people may not like that. Some people don't care. May want to actually flaunt your Kershaw Emerson. Totally up to you. Uh, but people will know that you're carrying a pocket knife. So it's got that wave feature. It's got that nice G10 on this one side, so it's easy to grasp. And you kick it out. Boom. Whips open. There you go, you grab it, use it, put it away, back in your pocket. Real nice, See, you can see that, boom, just whipped open super fast, very, very quick. I really have been digging this wave feature. It's very nice, I'll show it to you again just so you kind of get the idea. You're taking your knife, you're pulling it out, I'm gonna try and do it here slow. You're catching your wave, so you're kind of going on a backward motion that kicks the blade out. You can do it real fast in one swift motion. It's very easy. I really like it a lot. Yep, there you go. Boom. Each time. Whips it open. I haven't seen any damage on my pockets yet by doing that, and I've been doing it a lot. Very uh, quick, fast deployment. So uh, no damage yet on my pockets. I'm sure over time that'll start to wear out, you know, your pocket right here. Uh, the other thing to note, you know, with the thumb discs, the thumb, to, thumb disc makes it very easy to deploy. Very, very fast, easy, left-handed, right-handed. Um, but... Uh, it is, you have to think about it to not take it out and have it engage the wave. You can do it, you can take it out without using that wave, but it's kind of hard and you gotta think about it, you gotta pull like straight up and you can see there it even catches sometimes. So that is something to note, it is possible, but the knife naturally wants to, boom, use the wave feature, take it out, use it, and put it back into place. So 
overall, love that wave feature, but it's hard not to deploy the knife without using the wave feature. So guys, you've seen the CQC-6K in action. And uh, I gotta tell you, overall, I've been very impressed with the overall capabilities and price to value ratio that you're purchasing, bang for your buck, when you purchase a knife like this. Now again, it is a budget knife, but you're paying a budget price. You're paying right around the $30 mark, just a little bit over for this basically budget uh, Emerson, you're getting to test out because I wasn't sure about the wave feature. I love that wave feature. It's really awesome. I love that disc, thumb disc deployment. Um, you know, it's just a very high quality blade, good for almost anything you throw at it. You can definitely carry it on a hike, you know, and do, uh, you know, carving and whittling. You can use it for EDC tasks around your home. And if you, you know, God forbid, had to pull it out and defend yourself with a blade, um, you could do it with this knife. It gives you the strength with the frame lock. Gotta love that. Gives you the really good traction with the wave acting as a thumb ramp and the jimping and then that really deep finger groove right there so you're locked into place regardless of which way you're holding the blade you're locked in and ready to go and again at an amazing price and uh, for me because I didn't really want to drop you know 140 150 bucks on a true Emerson without testing out this wave so this allows me to test out that wave feature and since I've tested it out and I like it now I'm gonna get a full size you know a full you know a true Emerson and uh, get that rocking and get a review out here hopefully by the end of the year on an Emerson blade because I really uh, have dug using this uh, Kershaw CQC dash 6k i think it's totally worth the purchase for you guys and particularly at that price uh, you can't go wrong so i hope this review has helped you guys out thanks so much for watching Hello everyone thank you so much for watching this particular episode of gideon's tactical please subscribe comment like the videos share the videos and check out our facebook page you can find it on the youtube home page of gideon's tactical like our facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear new gear releases you know that products and companies that uh, are released as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.